This is Pastor David Donovan in Fort Worth, Texas at I Jesus Streetlight Missionary Baptist Church. I want to do a video on uh, Sam Elliott attacking the movie uh, The Power of the Dog about homosexual cowboys. And uh, I remember when he did that, I wondered how long that would last. I knew if he was a real cowboy, it'd last. But if he was just a paper tiger, it would not last. Uh, and what I want to do, I want, want to read a dream that I had April 19, 2010. It was 3,534th entry in the journals. And by the way, today, in uh, May 22, today I just logged in 8,000. Anyway, the dream, April 1910. I dreamed about all kind of pairs of cowboy boots being given away, women's, racks of them. So many, everybody could have four or five pair, high dollar brands. Now, what I'd like to share with you before I talk more about Elliot is that the Lord started showing me the destruction of America and invasion by Islam and overthrow in 1984, my first year in ministry here. Uh, the next big event was in November of 1995 when Rabin was assassinated. All the way, and so this process starts and he starts in the dreams that the Lord is giving me, a lot about cowboys. The, and, and it was related to, uh, in the Bible, where Moses uh, gets the people across the Red Sea, and then Pharaoh and their, his men go in after uh, the Israelites, after God closes the sea together and drowns them, Miriam on the other side sings the horse and the rider are thrown into the sea. And what uh, the purpose of the Lord bringing up the cowboys in the dreams was showing me exactly that. And some of the dreams had cowboys on horses. Here's one particular dream to where it's, it's about cowboy boots that people are giving them away uh, they don't want them. And the reason they don't want them, from what the Lord has shown me through the years, what's coming to America, is the same way in Islam where women don't want to be caught on the street without their head covered. The idols, the paper tigers of America that are being pulled down because the people have turned away from God, the only, the only strength in the cowboy ever was was God. And where a God is not your strength, it's all a paper tiger. Whether it was 9-11, the Twin Towers, the great and mighty financial empire of America came crumbling down. The things that people bow down to, when they don't bow down to God, they're going to bow down to other things. And those things are going to fall because only God can hold you up. But um, ISIS... Antifa, um, Al-Qaeda especially, Hezbollah, have all threatened and warned that Texas is the target. What Texas represents, the military complex, the rugged man, the rugged people. Well, because of sin, they're not the rugged anymore. And this thing that I'm doing tonight on Sam Elliott is a great example of it. I mean, everybody's mind, he's the Cowboys, Cowboys. I think this guy, uh, I think he still gets probably the biggest money anywhere to just use his voice to speak because that deep uh, bass voice uh, uh, voice that he has represents masculinity and, and, and strength. But sure enough, without Jesus, when he uh, 
talked about the power of the dog homosexual cowboy movie where the woman who wrote it won an award at the Oscars when he said it made me sick of my stomach making these cowboys gay and everything in the movie being gay. Well, I can imagine it did. When he played, it was about cowboys, what cowboys were. Just rough, rugged men that helped build the nation and do the Alamo and all this other stuff. But all of the different aspects of American society being denigrated and brought down because the nation has turned away from God. So, as soon as he says, man, this is mess, man. This movie's a piece of, you know what? Boy, they put woke on him and, and instead of father knows best, mama knows best. And he came out with, uh, let's read it. Let me put this up there where he, where he apologizes right here. Sam Elliott apologizes for his power of the dog criticism. I was very articulate. Uh, I, I, I wasn't very articulate. <clears throat> but what he's really saying is, <clears throat> uh, oh man, I'm going to lose my house, my home. They're going to be outside chanting and calling for my death and I won't be able to get a job anymore. Man, I'm really, really sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bow down. I'm going to get down on my knees and say everything's hunky-dory. Uh, it, it, the movie was okay. I'm not going to spend any more time on that, um, ex except to say uh, everything that the American society that has turned away from God has held in high esteem, uh, God is bringing it down. Um, in the, with the space shuttles, for instance, they, um, all three of them, all three of America's space disasters, 17 dead over a 40-year period, all happened in the same six-day period every single time. With hundreds and hundreds of flights, all three disasters was in the six-day period. By the way, six is the number of man. But it was during the most famous cowboy stock show in the world, the Fort Worth Stock Show. The very last shuttle, Columbia, that represents uh, District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., it went down over the Fort Worth Stock Show as they were, the band was playing the Star Spangled Banner and praising the glory and the greatness of America. The point being, Everything since God has, man, the American people have turned away from God uh, and relied on their own strength and gloried in all the blessings as though they deserved them or they got them on their own. These things are being denigrated. God's allowed the enemy to come in and denigrate these things. Um, I want to look at the. I want to look at the article, the first one where. Uh, he doesn't like the cowboy movie. Sam Elliott slams power of dogs' gay themes. They're all running around in chaps and no shirts. He said it's just mess. And this woman, what does she know about the American cowboy? She doesn't. That's just that homosexual agenda that God said in the last days, be like the days of Noah, would be taken over the world. That's what we're living in right now. And uh, uh, what's happening with all these boots going off the, uh, getting rid of these boots is like he, he showed he was afraid to be a cowboy. He backed down. And so they're going to put enough pressure, Hollywood on these, on these quote, American cowboys, straight white cowboys, uh, 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 straight white Christian cowboys, that that, man, ain't no women going to want to have nothing to do with them. Unless, of course, you really are a straight, white, Christian cowboy, then you are man enough for whatever you need if it means that you have to die 
for what you believe. But the majority of people today that even name the name of Christ are not even Christians. They're churchgoers. That's one of the reasons for the falling down of the nation. Um, this kind of stuff happens when nations are overthrown or occupied or a coup happens. Everything's turned upside down. Uh, new, new rule, new leadership. Uh, uh, people who were in leader, leadership posi positions have to leave the country or die. It's a horrible time coming to America. She sold the wind and she's reaping the whirlwind. God's people are going to be okay. But the hypocrite and the sinner, they're getting lined up for the Islamic sword. Bend down and grab your ankles and lose your head. Because they would not listen. They wouldn't listen. So if you're putting your hope in the Cowboys to deliver you, including the Dallas Cowboys, the Boston Celtics, the Los Angeles Lakers, if you're putting your hope in anything to deliver you, through this horrible time this nation is going through and going to go through, you're going to come up on the short end of the stick if you're not putting your hope in Jesus Christ. If you're not a God-fearing person, not you're perfect, we've all done wrong, but you do fear the Lord. You do fear the Lord. You're in awe of Him. God deserves our, our honor and our respect, the life He's given us. Now, I'm going to close this on... The last few days has uh, everything in the media is about the leaked document about uh, abortion is going to be uh, overturned, and uh, and we've already had having having Democrats threaten on TV to have justices killed and burned at the stake. It's it just just uh, just thing. There's no rule of law. No rule of law. People have turned away from God. Without God, there is no government. Not a, not a government that you want. Uh, you can have all the isms, but they're all bad. It's all dictatorship. And God is not put in His place. Man is exalted in the place of God. But I was thinking uh, that, you know, in Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 51, I believe it says that it, it got me to thinking about this, what they're doing, trying to put pressure on the judges and the Republicans to cave and, and make sure they don't uh, 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 reverse that and ban abortion and send it to the states. That if the judges fold and that's not reversed, which I can go all the way back to 1972, 73 actually, remember Dr. Bennett in Fort Smith, at First Baptist Fort Smith, from the very beginning, this has got to be reversed, this has got to be reversed. Um, so it, it's 50 years. But in Jeremiah 51 it says, we would have healed Babylon, but she would not be healed, so flee out of her. That if this thing is not reversed, and we keep killing these babies, instead of being babies being killed, it's going to be adults. And it's going to be by the enemies of this nation. We will be given over to them. Before you put on your cowboy boots and strut out of here tonight, you need to put on Jesus. You need to be clothed in His righteousness because that's the only thing that lasts. You need to forsake all the idols you're trusting in your big bad car, your big bad sports, your big bad trophies. The lust, 
of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. You need to repent of this mess. Jesus is waiting. He's saying, come, all who are thirsty, come, come to Jesus. And he will in no way turn you away. He'll receive you and forgive you and wash you in his precious blood as Revelation chapter 1 says, and release you from your sins. Come to Jesus while there's still time. Jesus is Lord.